the Dr. George E. Rogers Scholar Athlete Award. In 1966, the Munson Academy faculty established the Dr. George E. Rogers Scholar Athlete Award to honor a member of the graduating class for scholarship and participation in sportsmanship and athletics. The young man we are about to recognize for this award has been able to excel at a high level academically and athletically. Although he has pursued athletics with great passion, he clearly understands the importance of pursuing academic achievement with the same high level of commitment. He innately understands how to achieve peak performance on the athletic field and in the classroom. He combines the personal attributes of positive attitude, passion, and character with the physical, mental, and emotional characteristics of confidence, commitment, concentration, and composure. This young man has always sought academic challenges. He has pursued a genuine interest in the study of science, but has also taken advantage of the SEGS program and studied financial markets each trimester this year. These last two years, he has excelled with a course load that has included four AP classes and one honors course, and he has earned academic honors and high honors every single trimester. His teachers consistently speak of his commitment to his work in and out of the classroom. In the classroom, it is evident in his class participation that he is intelligent, inquisitive, and has excellent intuition. Outside the classroom, his preparation for class mirrors the way he prepares for athletic contests. Practice, practice, practice. This scholar athlete knows and understands that there are no shortcuts to success and that preparation precedes excellence, preparation promotes positive outlook, and preparation is the foundation for success. He has lived by this in the classroom and on the athletic field. Whether he's playing football, basketball, or baseball, his coaches describe him as a throwback in every sense of the word. He tries to improve each day, and he leads by example. He has the utmost respect of his teammates because he is quick with praise and has a tremendous ability to constructively criticize. He has a wonderful mixture of wit, dedication, and sensitivity, which makes for an exceptional leadership on all teams that he has played for. All of his coaches, Vardabedian, Sparks, and Boozang, compliment not only his dedication and commitment to maximize his own performance, but his character, composure, and special connection that he is able to make with each and every player help maximize the performance of the team. As Coach Sparks, as Coach Sparks said, he always found a way to help his team win. His commitment to excellence was not, has not gone unnoticed as he was named Offensive MVP for football this year, second team all league in football, and first team all league in baseball this year and last year. He clearly has made the most of his opportunities athletically and academically here at the academy. His abilities as a student and athlete and his commitment to working hard has opened many opportunities for him for college. Mike has decided that he will be attending Boston College next year where he will be pursuing his long-term goal of becoming a medical doctor. He also will have the opportunity to continue playing basketball at BC as, his, as their coaching staff has identified him as a preferred walk-on. Clearly, Mike's tremendous record of achievement in both academics and athletics embodies the George E. Scholar Athlete Award. By the vote of the faculty, it is with great pleasure and honor to present the Dr. George E. Rogers Scholar Athlete Award to Mike Mendez. The Markell and Munson Class of 1898 Award is given each year to a senior at Wilbraham and Munson Academy who, in the opinion of the faculty, has made the greatest contribution through leadership, character, and courtesy. That same senior each year is awarded the Owen David Dow Memorial Award. Owen David Dow, a member of Munson's Class of 1960, lost his life in the summer of 1962 in an airplane accident while he was engaged in a huma humanitarian mission. At Munson Academy, he was an all-around athlete, a fine scholar, and an excellent school citizen. Mr. and Mrs. Allen L. Dow, Owen's parents, established a fund under the terms of which the winner of the Markell and Munson Class of 1898 Award for Leadership, Character, and Courtesy will also receive this prize. Leadership, Character, and Courtesy, all in one person. That's a tall order because sometimes those traits come into direct conflict with one another. It can be a difficult balance to strike, but for the members of this community, we have benefited from the presence of just such a leader for the last two years. Let me start by saying that the all-around athlete and fine scholar part for this award, that's already been covered. 
I'm going to focus on the excellent school citizen part. Sometimes people gain recognition through individual and short-term events where they stand out for one reason or another, which has certainly been the case for this scholar athlete. Other times, however, and this is far more rare, people stand out because they quietly lead a group of people from within, with no more leverage or accolades other than their daily unwavering example and integrity. There is a strength in them, wrapped in honesty and humility, that people cannot resist to admire. This is how we, we have come to know Mike Mendes. With an uncanny ability to perceive and predict the feelings of others, which we refer to as emotional intelligence, Mike is intensely aware of what's going on with those in his presence, and he responds to that perception in extremely positive ways. Ms. Barnes Vallandingham, Mike's head dorm parent, says, Michael has been trustworthy from the moment he stepped on campus and possesses a natural aura of authority. How he treats others is a testament to his own character. Mr. Dizek, another head dorm parent, says, I don't think the boys on campus, from those who stay the course to those more challenging, respect anyone on campus more than they respect Mike. I have never seen someone this young display the level of leadership that he does on, this, on the sports field and in the dorm. The dude is funny, too. After only a short time here, Mike was elected to prefect by the dorm heads and the current prefects at the time. This is a challenging feat in itself, for the role is typically coveted by student leaders for years before they earn it. Even more impressive is that he was instantly assigned to Rich 2, the dormitory where the oldest boys live. Being a successful prefect on Rich 2 takes a very special person indeed, with the ability to guide, lead, and control boys who are ready to be on their own and who are typically very large. <laughs> At one point earlier this year, I was talking to the parent of one of the rich two boys. They recounted a story to me that summarizes Mike's success in that role and his general presence at this school. They said they had been talking to their son about living in the dorm, and they suggested to him that it must be crazy living on the floor with all that testosterone, etc. cetera. There, were, there must be a lot of rule breaking going on. The boy's response was, no, nothing really bad happens. We all respect Mike too much, and we wouldn't put them in a, him in that position. We wouldn't do that to him. That is an endorsement of leadership that cannot be denied. Those who have spent time with Mike are far better for it, and I, think, I can think of no better indicator of excellent citizenship. The faculty has awarded the Mark L. and Munson Class of 1898 Award and the Owen David Dow Memorial Award to Mike Mendes.